Welcome back. It's a Friday morning on your Feel Good Breakfast show and it's such a pleasure. Yes, it's very early, Joey Razdin. It's very, very early in case you didn't yes. know. That's the man who we have with us this morning, a legend of the South African comedy scene. You've seen him on television for so many, many years on the silver screen entertaining us. Um, and I mean, from the Pure Monate show, I can even take my mind all the way back there. Yo. Dude, it's been great to watch your journey and to be part of it as well on the few occasions that we've we've had here. Yes. Uh, it's good to have you. Good morning to you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. That, that's you. Uh -huh. That's you. Right you like it for a <laughs> you have the most unique sound checking method I've ever heard. What, what? what you say? What you were saying right now? Because usually we say uh, sound check just to make sure the mic is working. Yes. People go one, two, one, two, yes. one. Two. You, what did you say? I said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All good children go to heaven. When they die, they do not cry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was a poem that my mother said to me back in the day when I was really? seven. Yeah. And was that to comfort you, or was it just like to, to, to no to teach me how to count? <laughs> That's a good way to do that, man. <laughs> and here you are right now being able yeah. to count, counting a lot of checks, I'm sure, yes. as well. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you so naughty. Let's talk about, about your, your latest show, Joey yeah. Dean. Basic. Basic. So this yeah. is all happening at the Protea Hotel yeah. uh, here in Cape Town. Yes. 4th and 5th of May. Yes, uh, it's tonight and tomorrow. Absolutely. Tell me about the show, man. So basic, uh, so you know, like uh, last night, I actually, when I landed, another lady came up to me and she said, why are you so serious on stage? Oh, yeah? Then I was like, but don't you laugh? Then she's like, yeah, but you're serious. Then I was like, yo, I need to rethink that. And it's not the first time somebody told me that I'm a bit serious on stage. Yeah. So I was thinking, oh, oh, why did I do stand up? Why? And, yeah. and you do it because you make people laugh. Yeah. That's the, uh, the basic reason why you do it. So it always evolved into, I have the social responsibility. I have this um, ability to influence um, people's thinking. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then I went to that. And then now I just want to get back to the basics. Like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Do you, is, do you mm. remember your first comedy gig? My first comedy gig, as I was um, speaking to Mo on my way here, was actually with, with um, Darren. Wreck it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, we did it um, uh, the first night we started. Uh, John Vlismus was the MC, and then it was Chris Forrest, myself. Uh, and David Carr was the headliner. Oh my word! Yeah, that, that's quite a that's a heavyweight lineup already. Yeah, yeah. About that. By that time the, we were starting though, so of course, yeah. of course. And did you die on that on that night? Hard, hard. <laughs> like hard. <laughs> I was speaking Afrikaans <laughs> <laughs> at a very fragile time. Yeah, here you are. I, I had this joke where I said, "My mat gesek moet achter die kijk maar toe breek hulle voor in." <laughs> but then the people at the time were like, what is what, this guy speaking about? What did he just say? Yeah, like... So, so when it comes to the content then of, yeah. of basic, do you refer to some of those uh, yes. back stories? What, what, is, what is the major content drive of this? So, so I think the, the major con content drive of this show will still be um, serious, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and we need to speak about this elephant in the room. And the elephant in the room, as you know, in South Africa right now is... <laughs> Houses in Constantia is 50 million rand yeah. <laughs> with lots of land. <laughs> wow! You know you can't say that word without people going. Yeah. So, but that's the basic. We need to get back to the basics. And and have, have you got a crafty way of going around? The, you're not going to pull a Kanye West on us. No, Kanye West is actually extremely clever. I think. I think he's doing this with a purpose. Because you know you have to give people cognitive dissonance to actually do research. So okay. if, if a, a, a black guy like Kanye West saying um, slavery was a choice, the people that didn't know about slavery will go research and go, but no Kanye, it wasn't a choice. And then he actually made um, progress into the minds of people, in the, in the minds of those people. Not that it gains him any favor with those that are woke. Yeah, but you, even so, those are the people, they think they woke. So if they actually read all his tweets, if they actually read what he's doing, if, if they actually read and see the... Because, you know, there's Andy Kaufman is yeah. a great example of, of, of how he used to put his art in a uncomfortable position. And mm -hmm. he, he was always uncomfortable. Yeah. And he put himself out there. And, and, um, and that... Like, for instance, when Galileo Galilei said the world was round, at the time, people believed the world was flat. And then he came with this new information, and then they went to go see, the, and then they went to go do research, and then they're like, oh, wow, the world is round. That is cognitive dissonance. So all these people that's catching feelings, that feeling is called <laughs> dissonance in a cognitive way. And that's what Kanye is doing. 
Yo, yo, you've just elevated Kanye to like other no, levels. Yeah, no, I'm not saying, like, I'm, I'm, not saying a, I'm agreeing with you. Don't worry, we will carry on with this conversation. Yo. You know what needs to happen now, seriously, is we need to go to the news. But Joey Razdeen <laughs> still remains with us, so stay tuned for more chats with him. And of course, check out his show starting off tonight at the Cape Town uh, Fine Ice Hotel. Thank you, And sir. it's called Basic. It's my feel good worth show. All right, we're back again hanging out with Joey Razdin, who is busy setting up his phone for what looks like, yeah, he's live on Instagram right now. Uh, if you want to check that out as well, you can get his side profile. Look at that. Say hi to your people there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought the best way to get to know Joey is to play a game of Never Have I Ever with him, which is partially drain dangerous, partially exciting. Yeah. Let's see how it turns out. You know how it works, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, ask yeah. a question. If you have yeah, done we, it, you have I to explain the I don't have the things. No, that's cool. You just say it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And we, we will, of course, trust you implicitly. So whatever you yeah, say, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Cool. Here we go. Never have I ever used the line, do you know who I am to get something I want? I have ever. Explain the story. Um, so I, I think I was in the south of France and nobody knew who I was. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Then I needed some coffee. Then I said, do you know who I am? <laughs> then, Did you ask it in French? Right. No, I couldn't speak French that so well. Then I said, just un café. Un café brochette, brochette and fromage. Which means, can I have a cheese sandwich and um, coffee? Yeah. Um, <laughs> un café brochette and fromage. Uh, no, no poulet. No poulet. The poulet is chicken, you know. No. <laughs> just, right. just now people think it's something else. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Never have I ever turned down a spot on a comedy show or tour lineup because of the potential of working with someone I didn't get along with. Never ever. You've I've never done that. Never ever done that. Okay, so you, you got a thick skin like that. Like you got, yeah, you mean, like okay. whatever. You sure? It's like I'm like Zlatan. <laughs> <laughs> you just take whatever. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Never have I ever thought of calling in sick to work because of a big night or otherwise. Uh, no, yeah, back in the day when I was at work. Yeah? Yeah, and then I used to work for Alexander Forbes. Yeah? <laughs> back in but the you day. were making top dollar then? Uh, not really. No? Not re Yeah, yeah, let's not go there. Okay. So, because it, it was at the time. In any case, so, yeah, I did call in sick. <laughs> and you had a big night? No, it was a, yeah, it was a big night. We had to, because um, in, in our towns, in Muslim towns, big night means that you pray. So, uh, on Monday was big night. It was Laylatul Para'a. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, next up, never have I ever pretended not to hear a fan when they called me out by my name. Yo, Joey! Joey! <laughs> All the time. Really? All the time. How do you, do you, do you like, I do still you, do that. How do you, so do you do like the walk faster thing? Do you do the, I pull out my phone because I was about to receive a call? Yeah, yeah. No, I just look like, are you sure? Because <laughs> <laughs> then I confuse, then I think, is this really this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you know what's my favorite? What? Have I seen you before? Oh. I don't know. How do you, how do you answer that? I, I don't know what you've seen before. Do I know you? I, I don't know what you know. <laughs> like, I'm not in your brain. <laughs> do I know you? Do they, do, I, do they do that even more now because you, you shaved off the sides of the afro? Yeah, and, and not really. Now it's like they're even more confused. Now they, I don't know. I think people appreciate me now because I lost a bit of weight and stuff. Oh, ow, uh, yeah. ow, ow. So now they just look at me. They're like, yo. And then you're <laughs> like, next stick out, I'm single on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, also check out Joey Razdeen. He will be in Cape Town uh, with his uh, sh comedy show called yeah. Basic uh, yeah. tonight. At quarter past eight, the Protea Fire and Ice here um, in Cape Town. Tickets cost 120 bucks? Yes, at Quicket. It's a good date out, man. Yeah. I haven't seen you live before. I think I should come to the show. Yeah. yeah. You should, you've seen me live a little, but you haven't seen me do one and a half hours live. I think I'm looking forward to that. All right, check it out tonight uh, and tomorrow at the Protea Fire Nice.